Hey guys, welcome back. We are going somewhere new. I feel like I was boring you guys with the Audis. I mean, I'm obsessed with Audis, but we're going to go somewhere new today. Today we are going to be checking out Amazon's fresh new market. There's only two locations, so I'm super excited. I haven't seen anyone do these videos, so I can't wait to introduce you guys to a new market, new vibe to this because you know there are going to be a ton of them soon. But however, there's just two and I'm going to one of the two today. We are going to one of the two today. So if you guys want to see what they have in store, then just keep on watching scan to enter so they had these scans But we're doing traditional shopping today. All right, so let's check out the vegetable and fruit prices. I want to compare it to Audi's to see if it's a major price increase. So yeah, let's check that out. Carrots are dollar twenty nine each. I feel like that's pretty reasonable, but we'll see when we get the Audis if they beat the price. The cauliflower three seventy nine. The bunch celery two forty nine. Orange cauliflower, never seen this before, didn't even know it exists, but it was that mold. Hmm, I think that looks like mold, but I don't know. Never had it before. We got some red cabbage over here. This is $2.99 each. How much is the broccoli? The broccoli is $2.99 each. Let's see, this is the amount you get. I guess this is like the organic broccoli. Is this organic? Doesn't say it's organic, so. It might be just a little bit higher than Audi's for sure. And let's see, the romaine lettuce is $2.99 each. Then over here we have some fruit. And it looks like the little bulk of organic blueberries are $4.69. Organic raspberry $4.59. Strawberries $5.29. It's me, Ops the Boss. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not even your channel, bro. All right, um, the blueberries pint is $3.99 each. Okay, I guess this is the same thing. This is a 12 ounce six. pack of the raspberries for $7.29 each. And $10.29 for this big pack of grapes. I don't know, y'all. What do y'all think? Is that worth the price? I mean, they do look really fresh, but $10.29 each? Mm, I don't know. I feel like I've seen a better deal at Walmart. All right, let's keep it moving. All right, moving along, I see that they actually have the Whole Foods brand here as well. So, I wonder if that's the same price as the actual Whole Foods store. If you guys don't know, the 365 is the Whole Foods logo, and they are carrying it here. I actually heard that Amazon owns Whole Foods, so clearly that must be true. But they have the dry roasted peanuts for $3.29. They are unsalted. I like the honey roasted peanuts. I only see this bag, and you guys know I always buy this at Aldi's, but these are $6.29. I have to pay like a dollar for mine at, at Aldi's. Lots of trail mix options and almonds and pistachios, cashews. Over here we have some seasoned croutons. They are three nineteen each a bag. Thirty six. Wine time strips. They also carry some street taco sauce, and they went for nineteen for their um, street taco. I didn't try this yet, but I've been seeing this a lot at Aldi's. I guess this is like a new thing. Um, so they had the ranch secret sauce, and they have the. Oh wait. Okay, this one is spicy, and this is original. Some more salad dressings. fruit and vegetable section is fairly huge in here i will say that everything is very well kept too like shopping in a clean atmosphere that's for sure all right over here they have the condiments a dollar 39 for the yellow mustard not bad 269 for the um hunt's ketchup i don't think that's a bad deal but why does this one say 629 What's the deal with this? This is a 31 ounce and this is a 32 ounce. This must be a mistake. 
some cocktail sauce, chipotle. I love chipotle sauce. How much is this? This is $3.29 each. Oh, and a special burger sauce. As it's the summertime, your girl loves herself a burger for $3.29. I might have to try that. I normally get the special sauce, which is $5.49. have a garlic everything sauce. I do love garlic. That's different. Chili lime crema. All these sauces are $5.99. This one is on sale for $5.49. And the Chipotle mayonnaise is also on sale for $5.49. This brand looks familiar to you, Whole Food Shopper. The Annie's Honey Mustards and Dijon Mustards. They have a lot of different mayo options. I think their brand is called the Happy Belly. We actually do need some mayonnaise, so I'm going to pick up a jar of this for $3.99. And they also have the Whole Foods brand, and this is $6.29. Mm, I think I'm going to go with the $3.29. More sauces for the grill this summer. I don't see the barbecue sauce that we normally use, which is from Whole Foods. I actually like, what is the brand called that we use from Whole Foods? Sure I forget the name. I think it's, is it Sweet Bay? No, it's not Sweet Baby Ray's. Sweet, I think it's called Sweet Bay. Never seen this sauce before. Um, this is $3.89, bacon bourbon, sweet heat, and poblano lime. These all sound really good. Japanese teriyaki marinade. I love marinades. Actually, this sounds really good for $3.29. I usually get a lot of marinades from Audi's. It's not bad. That might be actually good. Definitely heading over to the salad kit section. It's the summertime. Your girl want to eat a little light, a little fresh. So let's see what they have over here. Spicy sriracha ranch salad kit. This sounds good. I might have to try this. At Walmart, the kits are, I think, $3.99. Um, here they are $3.50. So you're saving 50 cents, but a savings is a savings. So, which one should I get? Honestly, I could be in this section all day. I want to try like a cranberry. Mm, they got a Mexican style street corn. Like, like I'm in heaven right now. They got all these tricks and solid things and they all sound so good. I don't even know which one to try. I'm in heaven. I actually did find one with cranberries. Um, this sweet kale, the one I start, had it in my hand. I should have read the ingredients. But I think I'm going to try the sweet kale. So I'm going to add to the cart. And then I'm also thinking about trying the spicy sriracha ranch. I feel like that's going to be a vibe too. You're probably looking at me like I'm crazy, but I'm literally in heaven right now. Like I don't even care, just stare. But girl, get a good look at this. Freaking solid heaven. These are, oh my goodness, this one only had, well wait, maybe this is, this is 34% off for $1.38. You get a butter blend, green butter lettuce, hmm. Okay, so these are like your um, blends and you just add whatever you want to these solids over here. This one is $2.49 for the iceberg. And the garden solid, the Italian blend, and the um, hearts of Rom romaine are all $2.48. And why is this one? This one's a little higher. The Italian blend is $4.19. Love a traditional Caesar solid. I feel like you can't go wrong with that, but I'm just trying to step outside the box and upgrade my solid upgrade my solids take my i'm trying to take my solid talents to the next level buffalo ranch oh this sounds so delicious get into the deeds romaine lettuce red and savory carrots broccoli green onions carrots buffalo seasoned croutons crumbled monterey jack cheese with buffalo ranch dressing that sounds good oh my goodness y'all and this is only 350 i really really need help deciding like they have an avocado ranch chop kit and these are on sale for 318. I don't know y'all. They got me right now. They got me in a choco right now with the solids. It's just so much. Like, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm let me not get keep. Let me give you guys a really good look at these solid kits. Can you see the prices? Well, down here it says 350. But this is what you're getting. This is the one I'm trying. I love baby arugula. $2.79 for this. This makes a really good salad. Hey, 
Hey. This is my little crumb snatchers. Burgers. Burgers. Butcher's blend. You get four burgers for ten forty nine. Ten forty nine. Let's it's not the Wagyu burgers like we like, but they are fresh. Is this the basic Beyond sausage or is this something new? I don't remember them coming in this package, but they are $5.99 here. So this is your um, plant-based section. They have Italian sausage. They have um, patties plant-based ground and meatballs and here's the prices right here the sachets links are 588 $4.38 for the plant savory impossible sausage the plant-based burgers are $3.99 $5.99 for these sausages more of the plant-based section the chicken breast tender lies on sale for a dollar seventy-nine pound. These are chicken wing gats and drummits. The pack of chicken wing. This is a really little pack of um, chicken wing gats for ten twenty-nine. I know in Whole Foods they usually do like a little bit bigger pack than this, but it's around twenty bucks. So, nah, I don't know. Lately, I have not been feeling chicken breast. I just feel like it has like a frozen taste. But this is um, $2.69 pounds, originally $2.99 a pound. So the prime price is $13.46. Could you get 10% off if you're a member? That's their brand. And this is actually the Amazon Fresh brand. Let me try this out because I haven't been feeling Aldi's chicken breast. So are we getting them? The turkey burgers are $6.79. I actually picked the same pack up at Aldi's for $7.99 or $8.99, so you can definitely get a, more of a savings at Aldi. I like my savings fresh, never frozen, but they do have the slabs in here that are prepackaged, and they're $12.39. You don't really get much in here. I will say that, so it's not looking like it's going to burn this, though, but they have the Atlantic sound. And the sockeye is in here, too. This is wild called shrimp. And, I mean, it looks extreme. It's very, it's, it's solid size, but it look how tiny these are. Like, are you serious? And these are $7.69. Fresh section looks closed. Doesn't look like they get much buzz. Yeah, doesn't look like much over here. And it also stinks. More plant-based options. The Daring original chicken pieces. I've never seen this before. It looked like little pieces of chicken breast. And they are $4.99 a bag. For the Angus ground beef patties in the box are $5.29 per pound. So you got some dairy products. Let's see how much they want for butter. $3.69. No, I'm sorry. $5.99 for the um for Land of Lakes. And for their brand, it is for Happy Belly's brand, it is $2.99. But if you are Prime member, it's $2.69. Prime members get 10% off here. So you know, I'm a sucker for the Toll House cookies. I don't think I'm going to get some today because I'm trying to be on a diet. But they're $4.69 here. I think they're normally $3.99 if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, $0.69 cent more here. I do like that you get a little bit of everything in this. I like that they carry the Whole Foods brand. I, li I like that they carry their own brand, which is the Happy Belly. And I also like that you can get some things from your normal markets, uh, like Giant, things that Giants carry, they carry here. So I am starting to feel a little overwhelmed, so I think we're gonna just browse as much as we can because they have so much to choose from here. This market is way bigger than Whole Foods. Traditional cereals here. Oh my goodness, but look at the price price difference oh my goodness what an increase there are 829 a box here for the Reese's stuff I mean it is the family size but my goodness 829 for a box of cereal the price of living is really going up don't get me wrong these are the family size boxes but I mean this is a major jump in the price so yeah we won't be getting cereal from here I used to love Berry Berry Kicks growing up as a kid. $7.29, but look how big the box is. So, 
I guess if you buy two small boxes, you know, it'll average out to this price. So I guess you are getting more. But I mean, if you don't have that kind of money, you know, all at once, then this is definitely not the stop. More of the Whole Foods Market. They have the um, raisin cookies and chocolate chip cookies. My kids do love this. I like to get the mini bag version of these. It's cool. Just a little grab and go snack when you don't feel like baking cookies. Oh, and they are $4.99. Some more Whole Foods snacks. Can't really tell you the price um, that they are in Whole Foods because I don't really buy this. I just remember the labels. Favorite pancake mix and it's actually on sale. $2.87 for the box of pancake mix. So I'm definitely going to grab this. I actually have to get a ton of breakfast food. We are out of pretty much everything. The cream of wheat is $4.59 here. I feel like that's pretty much average. So I am going to grab a box of this. And I'm also going to grab a box of the instant um, strawberries and cream oatmeal. This is only $2.19. I feel like that's a pretty good price. Not that much different from Walmart, but you know, it's not it's not really bad for the price here either. I think I pay around 87 cents for these at Walmart and they're $1.39 here, so I'll wait on those. More the Whole Foods brand, they are $4.49 for the Whole Foods brand. So like I said, it wasn't bad for the other um, brand. I absolutely love this brand here. Um, the McCain's uh, oatmeal packets are so freaking good. I think this is a couple cents cheaper for the mixed berry um, fruit spread. This is the jelly that we normally use. And they also have the peanut butter that we use too. Uh, pretty much the same price. They have the Whole Foods brand, the crunchy, organic creamy. They also have the Jiffy and that is on sale for $2.49. Their options up here. They have a ton of peanut butter options. A very small flower section. We are not major snack lovers in my house, but I mean, they have a big selection of candy here and chips and popcorn and cookies. A really big owl. I can't tell you guys if you were saving any money shopping here when it comes to these sort of snacks because we just absolutely don't buy them. Um, but if you know, you can catch a glimpse of the prices, here they are. All right, stepping over into hygiene, they have a nice selection in here. Over here is all the toothpaste, toothbrushes, other oral hygiene products. And then over here you have some Dove, Garnier Fruities, Tresemme, just to name a few. Some shaving care products. Some razors for shaving. Sanitary napkins. Very organized. Extremely neat. Avino products here. We love that. Deodorant. Some hair, skin, and nails. They're on sale for $13.69. Women's multivitamins are $14.29. New Sinex is $14.29. I think I pay about $20 bucks for this at CVS. And then I see they have some other brands for $16.99. All the prices up here, it looks like they're beating CVS. So, what am I shopping here? You know, if I have a cold, hopefully not. But if I do, I can keep this in mind. It's a few dollars off here. And more Dove. And Aveeno. You guys know I love Aveeno. $9.79. I've never seen these before. Um, the Pillsbury biscuits. That's different. You ever seen them? Never seen those before. So they have that. My kids love these. Really good. The double chocolate are really good too, but they don't have them. We also like the Idaho French fries. They look like they're on sale for four dollars. They also have the Stouffer's macaroni in here, and that's three seventy nine. Um, no options, and they are $9.29. I think that's pretty high. You can just go on and make your own pasta, and it's just be a lot more fresh. But if you need something quick, they have these here as well. The Bertilli pasta sauce. This is new. I've never seen this, and they also have the cheese and spinach ravioli for $5.29. It's not bad, I guess. 
also have the crispy dill pickles. Never seen this before. This is definitely new. I don't think I've seen this at any market for $7.99. Also have the organic chicken nuggets. They are $12.99 here. Same as Whole Foods. This brand I never heard of. I think it's called Blinsky for $10.49 for a bag of um, crispy chicken. I think you get different flavors. This one is hot. This one is barbecue. And this one is honey lime sriracha. So it's a lot of different flavors. Mm. And they're here for $10.49. Crunchy coconut butterfly shrimp for $5.58. And a butterfly shrimp is $5.49. They also have cinnamon cakes by this brand of Plenty and they are $8.89. I'm definitely curious on how much it is for the whole milk. $4.79 for a gallon of milk. I feel like that's pretty reasonable. Um, actually $5.59 for this one. That was for the 2%. So the 2% is $4.79, $5.59 for the regular whole milk. And we also drink almond milk in our house, so let's see if this is a little bit cheaper. So the almond breeze is $3.69. The unsweetened is also $3.69. Usually the almond breeze is a little bit cheaper than their um, vanilla flavor, but I guess it doesn't matter here. They also have an aisle for paperware. I'm not gonna go down this aisle, but it also looks like they have some things for the grill. So just quickly browse this aisle. Um, it is the summertime, so you never know. I want to stop shop here. They look like they have some cooking appliances too. I see a Hamilton Beach coffee maker. I see an Instant Pot, blenders, can mixers. So, a lot of little options here. What's going on for the eggs? $3.79. Now, is the juice prices are um, going to be a little bit better than the city prices? Let's see. Two forty nine for the simply lemonade. Two ninety nine for the Florida's nature. I don't know. I feel like they're pretty much the same. Five twenty nine for the three sixty five organic orange juice. This is um, Whole Foods brand again. Four ninety nine. The Danimals is six ninety nine something for the kids early in the morning and then the pint size are $5.99 and the minis are for $49. You know this I actually didn't expect to see and they have a hot bar here. So over here they have some olives. Mm -hmm. Some olives over here if that's your thing. Please, this is their solid bar. I'm not a fan of the cold food, but let's check out their hot food. So we have some rice. Oh my goodness, this corn looks amazing. Is this Mexican street corn? No, this is sweet corn and peppers. I don't know, I might have to try that. That looks so delicious. And the Brussels sprouts look so good too. Balsamic Brussels sprouts. That looks so good. Oh my goodness, and the, um, the cream kale and spinach dip looks really good too. Yeah. Also sell pizzas here. Hello. I'm sure they do. How much is it for a pan pizza? Uh, you want the one slice or one ninety nine? Okay. You want the whole pizza? Ten bucks. Okay. Oh, that's not bad. That's a pretty nice size pizza. Okay. We sell it on a lot of pizzas. I but, see. Yeah. I bet you do. Ten dollars for a pizza. You don't really find that too many places. And do you charge by like the toppings or or the toppings include in the $10? No, it's $10, whatever you want. Oh, wow, nice. Who would have thought $10 for a pizza any way you want it? You don't get that anywhere. A beer and wine section. So this was actually just closed a few minutes ago, but they came and opened it for us. Um, so this is a full view of the entire little section here. And right, let's browse. Rosa, can't go wrong with that. A peach flavor for $12.79. They have berry, pink, and peach. Pineapple, watermelon, rose. I love Stella Rosa. The Stella? 
Elmore Ed here is oh, 75 49 I also love the Angry Orchards. They're 1179 Is that a good deal on the um, orchard? <laughs> yeah, somewhat. The mics are on sale for 11.29. And the sequins are 535. So if you guys have returns from Amazon, they have a customer service and return section. Looks like it's closed right now. Um they also look like they have a drop off drop off box too. Not a mosquito. We're not doing that. All right, guys. What did y'all think about the Amazon Fresh Market? I have mixed emotions about it. I like that it sold a little bit of their own brand, Whole Foods brand, and like other markets brand, like I was saying earlier, Giants. But it's still not beating my Audi's prices. So because of the prices, we still do have to take another stop at another market to finish our grocery shopping. So I don't know. I would probably come back, but it's not, it wasn't given like this is my new fave market. We're able to use our Amazon Prime um, code to save a few dollars at the end of our shopping. One of my favorite things I will say about the market is that it was super clean. The staff was really friendly and they had a pizza section worth as many toppings as you want for $10. I mean, I, I know I don't really eat toppings like that on my pizzas, but just the fact that you can, I thought that was a major plus. So yeah, overall, like the market, but like I said, I still have to hit up Aldi's. Yeah, 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 yeah.